Hello, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be doing my 2017 Project Pan Finale. Um, at the beginning of 2017, I picked out 17 items that I wanted to work on and finish throughout the year. And as I finished those items, then I kept adding in items. So I ended up with 28 items in my project pan and I finished a total of 24. There were four products that I did not finish and I'm gonna show those to you and then I'm gonna show you the items that I did finish and my thoughts on them and then I will tell you at the end my thoughts on a project pan for 2018. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I have that I did not finish is this Amore Pacific Enzyme Pill. This is a face wash that's a powder. You add some water to it and create a, fro a frothy foam and cleanse your face. It's very gentle. You can use it on a daily basis. I um, usually would use it two to three times a week. The way that it is designed, the delivery system, when you tilt this up and out into your hand, it will pour out the exact amount that you need for your cleanse um, so that you're not wasting, you're not getting too much, you're not getting too little, you're getting the right exact amount. So I think that's why this really lasted as long as it has, is because it wasn't overusing it by getting too much product. And um, when I started my project pan, I was about, I was here on the bottle, and now I am probably about here. I mean, I'm almost done with it. I will probably finish this, um, I would say probably by the end of February. And um, I will definitely consider repurchasing that because I really did think it was a really good, very um, gentle but effective enzyme peel that was very easy to use. I used uh, mixed it with some micellar water and used it of the morning as my morning cleanse. The next product that I have that I did not finish was this um, paint pot. It's a paint pot from MAC and this is the Soft Ochre um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Um, I did not finish this. I made a pretty good size dent in it. Um, I'm going to have to stir it up some more because it has gotten a little um, hard because I haven't been using it like I should be but um, I'm going to still try and keep on and get a little bit further with this before I call it quits with this but I there's just another product that I like better that's from NYX that is a white um, cream shadow that I like to use as an all over eye base instead of that, but I'm still going to try and finish it up. The other product that I have that I did not finish is this one from Philosophy. It's the micro delivery pill and this was a two part system. Um, the first part is the, um, the scrub part here that is a enzyme or it had a lot of um, fruit enzymes in it like papaya and vitamin C that's supposed to really help to exfoliate the skin and um, create a fresh canvas for you. And you're supposed to use it like once a week. I just had a hard time using this because the grains on it, I just felt were a little bit too harsh for my skin. It's almost like using a fine grit sandpaper on your face. And the older I get, the more gentle I want to be with my skin so I didn't use this as much as what I probably could have. The second step is a little um, gel like serum like formula that you put on top of it after you have scrubbed your face and then it turns into a frothy um, foamy face wash and then you wash your face. Um, but like I said, I, I only would use it maybe a couple times a month just because I felt like it was a little bit too harsh on the skin with the type of grains that are in it now. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to even try to finish using this, to be honest with you. I've had it for quite some time. I don't really know, um, what is the word I want to... Not the longevity of it, um, but anyway, I just don't know if it's good. 
I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I think I'm going to be tossing that out. Anyway, and I'm not going to repurchase that. Now, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when I started using that from philosophy, yes. You know, when my skin was younger and wasn't quite as thin, it was a good scrub. So if you're someone in their early 20s to maybe early 30s, that might be a scrub um, appeal system that you would want to look into. Then the other product that I did not finish was my Guerlain Meteorites. Um, I use these pretty much daily as an all over setting spray. It's just a little um, glow, these little balls that have a lot of little glow in them. Um, now, in my defense, about a quarter of the way through the year, I had another jar of these that was from a couple of Christmases ago that I wasn't using, so I split those up, sent half of them to my friend, and I put the other half in this jar. So I did add to them, but um, even if I hadn't added to them, I would not have finished them. And that's even after using them on a daily basis. I use this little puff here. I have replaced this a few times, and I just pat it all over the face. Let's go ahead and put some more on, because I probably need to be a little bit more glowy, but this is just how I do it as my final um, prep, makeup prep. And will continue to use these. I was going to purchase this year's Christmas set of them, but I just wasn't that impressed with them. Um, I wasn't impressed with the fact that they lowered the quantity amount. The price was still the same. And the tin, where normally it's been like this metal type tin, they made it a really cheap plastic container, even though it was pretty. But I opted not to purchase that, even though I had planned to this whole year to get the Christmas edition when it came out this year. But I just wasn't that impressed with it. So those were the four items that were in the project pan from the very beginning that I did not finish. And I'm okay with that. Um, three of those I'm going to keep and continue working on. But I think that other one I'm, I'm going to call it quits on that. Okay, so let's go over the products that I did finish and I actually probably heard that I actually kept all of these empties this whole year I have kept these empties in a separate container so the first thing I pulled out is this La Mer um, the brightening lotion intense I wasn't that impressed with this at all for the price um, for one thing it's not really a lotion it was more like a liquid more like a an essence and I just I, wouldn't, I wasn't impressed enough for the price point to repurchase that. The next thing I had was from Skin 59, no, Skin 79, and this is a Snail Nutrition BB Cream. I did enjoy this. I had several, several of these BB creams that I had ordered all at once three years ago probably, and this was the last one that I wanted to get used up before it expired. And... Um, you just cannot beat a good Korean BB cream. There's just none in the American, the Western market that I feel compare to anything from the Korean market as far as their BBs, their CCs, or their cushions. So I would consider repurchasing that, but I don't need to because I just ordered a boatload of cushions and I'll be doing a separate haul on that, but anyway. Then I had finished the Peter Thomas Roth, the Cucumber Gel Mask. This was okay. It was not my favorite. Um, not anything that I'm going to repurchase. I know a lot of people do enjoy this, and I'm not saying that it's a bad mask. I just have other ones that I like better. So, But this one, this one I did like, and this is the pumpkin one, and this is the pumpkin enzyme mask. So this one I would definitely consider repurchasing. I liked this a lot better than I do this philosophy one. It's a little bit more, even though I feel like this was very effective, it was a little bit more, it wasn't as harsh on my thin aging skin as what that other one was. So I would definitely think about getting another one of those. Also from Peter Thomas Roth was the Unwrinkled Peel Pads. And um, these, I didn't feel like these were that great. I like the ones from um, First Aid Beauty better, and I'm sure that they're a lower price point. 
feel like they are probably more effective than what these were. So I definitely won't be repurchasing those. Then from Becca was the Backlip um, Primer. Is that what this is called? I can't see it. I'm looking at my notes here. Where do I have it written down at? I don't know. The Becca Backlit Primer, I guess is what it's called. It was okay. Um, if you're wanting something to put on your face that's going to make your face, you know, a little bit extra glowy, then this would work. If you're looking for something that's going to help make your makeup stay, then this is not it. Um, so, not going to repurchase. And then I had this guy here, and this was the amb Ambient Lightning Palette with Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. And I finished these two here. This one I did not finish all the way because it is a little bit too orange for my skin tone. So I am um, done with this palette. I did use the other two colors though. And then from Tom Ford, I had this um, illuminating powder in translucent pink. Um, this I had purchased because Terra Babies had talked about it for using to uh, set for underneath the under eyes. But there's one from e.l.f. that I like a whole lot better than this. And of course it's a whole lot cheaper than this. So I won't be repurchasing this. And this did have a little lid with a mirror. But we had to use the mirror one day. We were trying to fix a... We were trying to hook up the stove is what it was. And we were trying to feed the um, hose for the stove down through the ceiling through the wall and we couldn't see so I grabbed the mirror off of this so that we could use it to see so <laughs> we use that for a tool and then this I my goal was to finish this powder here which was an eyebrow powder and this is the brow from benefit the browsing powder in light and I did finish that and um, I do like this. I'm actually using a different type of powder right now that I have that will probably last me three years before I would have to repurchase another powder. So, but if I didn't have that, I would get it. This was the um, the wax portion of it, and I didn't I didn't care for that at all. So I did not use that part, and that wasn't part of the project pan. Let's see. Then I had um, this product from Maybelline. This is the Age Rewind Treatment. The Age Rewind Treatment Eraser. There we go. Erasers for dark circles. And this I do like. I do miss this. And when I get through some of my other under, under eye concealers and brighteners, I'm going to go back to this because I did like it. And for the price, you can't beat the price on it especially if you get it from Ulta and you use your coupons on that this is from um, da, 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 Armani Giorgio, Giorgio Armani and this was I'll have to look at my notes because I don't remember what this was called the exact name of it uh, let's see I thought this was in the original maybe not No, I added that. Okay, I just have it written down as Giorgio Armani Corrector and Peach. But anyway, this is very popular. It's not that expensive for being a Giorgio Armani product, and it lasted a very long time. And when I first started using it, I didn't really care for it. But the more I used it, the more I liked it. And I mean, I got down to the nitty gritty to where I was scraping this little tube here trying to get it all out and I think I will probably once again once I use up some of my other correctors that I have I'm going to repurchase that because I ended up really liking that a whole lot. Then I had this little guy here from Colleen Rothschild. What was this? This was a mask. Is this a mask? Yes it was that um, that clay mask that a lot of people talk about looking on my notes once again my notes here oh, I just have the Colleen Rothschild mask I wish I knew what exactly that was called I didn't care for it 
Uh, it was a deluxe size sample that I had got in a kit. I wanted to use it before it dried up. It just wasn't my cup of tea. But on the other hand, I have really dry skin, so I really don't need a clay mask, maybe in the summertime in the T-zone. But I just wasn't that impressed with that, enough to want to repurchase the full size. The next product that I have was from IT Cosmetics, and this was the Builder Brow in Universal Taupe. I did like the formula of this, I just didn't care for the color. And when I went to go purchase another one at a different color, once I used this, the lighter colors just wasn't going to work for me, and so I ended up getting one from Benefit instead. But if they would have had a color that I felt worked for me, I would have went back with this. But color match just wasn't where it needed to be. Then I finished um, from MAC. This was from a limited edition or one of those special promotes that they do every, every third day, I do believe. And this was from a couple summers ago. This was the Aphrodite Shell um, bronzer. And I did use all of that up. And it was a nice bronzer. I don't think you can purchase it anymore even in this color. It was the extra dimension bronzer in the color Aphrodite shell. But anyway, even if I could repurchase it, I wouldn't. I'm like hot um, <clears throat> because I have a ton of bronzers that I really need to work on. The next product was a deluxe size sample of the Makeup Forever Primer, the HD Primer. This is a good primer. Um, I do especially like using this type of primer in the summertime, um, but not every single day because it does have a silicone in it and I don't really like silicone. But in the middle of the summer, July, August, when it's so hot and humid, I almost have to have something like this to keep the makeup on. So. Um, if I could get another deluxe size sample, that would be great because that would get me through just that six to eight week time frame that I would need it, but not a full size. This was the MAC um, strobe cream. Um, again, something that you're supposed to put on to help highlight the face. Didn't really care for it. Wouldn't repurchase or get the full size. Same way with this Giorgio Armani, this is the Flood Sheer, again, a product that you put on to help to enhance the glow of the skin. Didn't really care for it, not enough to get the full size. Then I had the MAC Prep and Prime in the Radiant Rose, and this was one of those thingies that you clicked up to get the product. It was okay. I personally like the Maybelline one a whole lot better, plus the price points better on the Maybelline, so would not repurchase that. Oh, and those things that are for MAC, I am going to match back, MAC, back to MAC those. And then this product here was a Milani eyeshadow in the color Bella Ivory. I liked this to use all over the lid as an eyelid canvas color, and I would consider repurchasing that once I get down to through some of my other singles that I'm using now, but this was a good one. I actually like this better than the um, Wet n Wild Brulee, so. And then a couple other products that I have that I finished that was in here. One was the Chloe Perfume. I did not like that and I didn't finish, finish it, so I gave it away. And um, there was a lip liner, an Estee Lauder lip liner in rose. But it was so dry, even if I sharpened it, it would just crumble, so I threw it away. And then um, the other thing that I had put into my project pan that I finished all of them, but I didn't save the packages, and that was all the martini mask that I had. I think I had about 20 when I started the project pan that I wanted to finish, and I did use all of those. So total, um, I ended up using up 24 
fall probably those 24 products plus the mask which was 44 products and that was probably a total of around $700 is for what I used in the project pan. So I did very well for the project pan. I was, it was fun to do it, but for 2018, I have decided that I'm not going to do another project pan. I'm still going to work on using up products. I'm just not going to pull out specific products to um, keep track of because I keep track of all of my empties anyway and I I don't know I just I've done a project pan for the last couple of years and I just I want to move on do something else so anyway so that is it for my project pan finale I hope that you have enjoyed and I will talk to you soon